Hi, I'm Matt from Hoboken Horology, and today I'd like to talk about sizing a Tudor Black Bay bracelet. Now this one fits me pretty well, except I think it's a little snug, and the micro adjustment is on its max. So I just wanted to go through a quick video for anyone interested in adjusting a simple screw bracelet. I've done pin before on uh, one of my earlier videos, but I think the number one rule, and I just want to cover this before I get to the desk, is that Though it sounds, it may be kind of a stupid thing to say and maybe it's common sense, the thing that I wish somebody had told me before I had ever sized a bracelet on my own or had done anything inside of a watch before is that it's very simple that a screw going into metal cannot go th past its furthest point. And that sounds utterly simple. They always tell you, you know, my father had always said to her, don't over tighten the screws. And that is something very important to remember. Once it hits the end of where the threading is, unless it's caught on something or dirt or something like that, once it gets to the end of the threading, that's it. It's, it's done. It doesn't mean it has to be so tight that you're going to have issues. So keep that in mind and, uh, and uh, let's get started. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's get into this. So I'm going to do my best with the focus on the camera here. Hopefully it stays in. Um, and isn't too crazy throughout this entire filming. So basically here is how the watch fits. It is a little snug and what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a link on this side, the micro adjustments all the way up at the, the highest, um, the tightest it can be. So if I bring that in real quick, let's do that first. So I'm gonna do it by steps. This is one of those old fashioned ones where the, um, where you have to use the pin. Now I'm working on a wood desk, so it wouldn't really scratch my watch, but I still want to uh, put a, a cloth down. And I use the ones that come from the watch watches that I buy. I have a Rolex one, an Nomos one. I have a Tudor one too, but I haven't been using that one. So what I've done is I clicked in the pin over here. I moved it to the middle slot came over here, moved that to the middle slot, and then I moved that to the end slot. Like I said, I can I can poke this and prod this as much as I want because I'm using a toothpick, so there's not gonna be any scratches. Okay, so there we go. So now if I close this, it's gonna be a little tight. Let's do it anyway. Okay, so that's super tight because I just did the micro adjustment. And that's actually, that's actually quite wearable. I could actually wear it um, this tight, but um, for some reason, if I needed to expand I have two more spots, but this is a little a little too tight. It's a little too snug. I mean, I don't mind wearing my watches like this, but it's a little too snug. So originally I was actually gonna put a link on this side, but I now looking at it after the micro adjustment was um, at its tightest, I think we're gonna put one on this side. So that way, if I just move it, the clasp will sit a little bit like that. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. I don't want this clasp sitting too far down because this little bump here, I'd rather the clasp rest in this kind of area because inevitably you're gonna scratch it. You're gonna scratch this area. So uh, let's get started. Let's add a link to the side. And uh, like, I, like I've said in previous videos, you have to put the micro adjustment at its, um, at the shortest, at the, at the tightest here. You can do the middle, but I would full heartedly recommend doing the tightest because that way you can always go, you can always make it looser, but um, very rarely would you actually need to make it even tighter. But if you were on a dive or something, this is a diver's watch. If you were on a dive, or let's say more likely you're in warm weather, you're gonna have to, um, you might have to add some length to the bracelet on the fly. And that's what these micro adjustments are for, uh, for if your wrist is swollen or something like that. Um, please excuse the, uh, disgustingness of this toothpick it wasn't used but it has been used on a lot of watches and things so it's got some like dried up oils and things on it so what did I say we were gonna add a link to the back side though part of me thinks that the clasp should hang down a little bit lower but by rule of thumb I already have one link in here and I have I have one link in the six o'clock and two links in the 12 o'clock and actually these shouldn't be even with how you distribute the links. There's always going to be fewer links at the uh, 6 o'clock side 
than the 12 o'clock side. 12 o'clock side, by general rule of thumb, always has more links. I'll actually add this, I think, at the 12 o'clock side. Yeah, I think, I think that makes more sense. It's gonna sit almost like that. Um, yeah, I think that works for me. I think that makes sense. So let's do that. You can um, take this out by just um, click doing the micro adjustment. So I'm, I'm looking at the side with the screws. And again, I, I usually wouldn't do something like this on camera, but it's, I think it's important to have somebody demonstrate. If somebody specifically is looking for Tudor Black Bay or a screw bracelet, it, it is nice to have a video of somebody else who's done it um, before. And uh, ah, man, I should have went over the tools. For this, I use this bracelet sizer, which um, you can get anywhere. It just helps, helps you hold down the bracelet. And then, um, not completely necessary, but I, I do find that it, it helps a lot. Um, it comes in a lot of basic watchmaking kits. I tape it down, and you want a proper jewelry screwdriver. Um, this one, I'm just trying to get it in focus here. This one has a, you want the end to, to be loose, so when you're actually doing the screw, you're gonna hold it like this. Um, so what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to line that up and squeeze. The only thing with me, now what I'm doing right now, and it's incredibly difficult to see, is I'm just trying to hold the head of the screwdriver as, um, as close to it as I can so it doesn't move around too much and, scr and scratch the, uh, the link. Okay, so that's done. So I pulled that apart. Here is my new link. I'm going to throw that in. So a screwdriver, some computer scr screwdrivers will work. Um, this is the new link, but it's going in the older hole. So I will use the same screw that came out of it. I hope I grabbed the right one just then. The same screws should go to the same holes that they came out of. Um, that's just a general rule, but it really, you know, in the long run, it really doesn't matter as much. Um, I actually will put another piece of tape on there. I use this masking tape because it, it, it has a great hold to it. It's a little bit better than scotch tape. I think it holds down nicely and it's, it's very wide, so it's, it's covering more than less. Now for me, this screwdriver is almost too big for the screws, but I, I very much prefer that. I want it to just be not slightly wider, but as perfect to a size as you can get and bigger when it comes to screws, as long as it's not lipping over. Because if you were doing this on a Rolex bracelet, you could, or, or an Omega, you could scratch the, uh, the inside of the link. But the way that this link is designed, the screw is almost a little bit popping out because of the uh, fake rivets that this bracelet has. So I like to have the largest screwdriver possible because it does make it a little bit easier. Now I'm lining that up. Now you'll see me go uh, left, and it's not because I don't know which way to screw. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Just tight enough, so that it's kind of it's kind of pushing back a little bit, and that's more than enough. Um, it's a little bit of a struggle because of this, but what was I saying before? I was saying about the um, I was saying about the screws, right? I don't want to scratch up that. The ends of the links too bad so if you are ever in a situation like I just got into where I'm just I'm getting stuck a little bit don't don't keep doing what you're doing just stop what you're doing and you know come back to it rethink your situation and what's happening so I'm going to come into here I'm going to put one link into the other outside of here Drop that in, and drop this link in. Okay, so, oh, what was I saying? Oh, that was right. So it's not that I don't know which way a screwdriver works, but I'll go lefty, and this goes with screwing down the crown too, and I will feel or hear the threads drop. Uh, drop. So basically, as you know, with a screw, the thread is the other the one in the other thread is resting on top and 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 it's very difficult to kind of cross thread but it does happen so what i'll do is i'll, I'll screw um, counterclockwise until it 
I feel a drop or I think that I've gone far enough and then I'll go clockwise. That way, if you just go clockwise and you happen to catch the threads in the wrong way, it, it could be kind of an unpleasant, um, a little bit of an unpleasant situation. So I'm just always careful. You know, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. So. Don't get too close with that tape. It's important to be as close as possible because you, you have polish. But, and again, this is just um, me being careful. I, I, I have scratched, you know, links before, so I, I just want to be a little careful. Um, it's a tough watch, but you know, I don't want to scratch it if I don't have to. There we go. I heard this weird click. And then some sc jeweler screwdrivers will have a screw in the bit. So if you actually went far too tight, you can even jam up your, your screwdriver. These are, are quite inexpensive. So these aren't very good screwdrivers, but again, it's kind of a safety net too, because I don't want to over tighten this bracelet. And uh, by doing so, by having the, by having the jeweler's screwdriver, I make sure that it's not going to happen. There we go. Hopefully the whole video is in focus there. All right. So now, that is sitting there. It's a little bit of a loose fit. And like I said, the I'm at the tightest, so I can always go looser, which having a, a kind of a loose fitting watch, for me, you know, this isn't a Rolex bracelet. It's, I mean, you know, it's Tudor, but it's not a Rolex bracelet. It doesn't have the micro adjustment that Rolex has. So um, it is only gonna be as tight as I can, um, as it'll allow because it does has a it does have a finite set of uh, options there. That bezel on this is just so incredibly tight. It's it's actually pretty relaxing. Um, and that 12 o'clock, it just it stops at 12. It's pretty incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna wear it loose like this for a day or two and see how I feel about it. I I actually kind of prefer. I prefer my watches tight, but lately I've kind of been in a kick where I I have been wearing them looser and looser, and uh, you know we can go on for days about which one is better. But yeah, this feels pretty good, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully, I'm in focus and everything like that. Um, the clasp is sitting. I, I'm a seven inch wrist. I have one here, and I believe there's three. One, two, three. Yeah, three on this side. So always more on the 12 o'clock side. And that just, it feels, it just, it feels right. That's, that's, I mean, you know, as you, I'm sure you know, there's, there's no way to describe a, a, a well-fitting watch. Um, this feels great. And if I have to go looser for one reason or another, if I do want to take this guy diving on the bracelet, which I probably would do a strap, but if I'm going to do a bracelet, I'm uh, probably going to preemptively try it on with a wetsuit and see if I need a notch or two. And I'll just wear it really loose until I dive and then I'll, I'll, I'll put it on over the wetsuit. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps. If this, if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. And you know, if this video helps one person out there sizing their bracelet, then I'm happy. That's, that's all that matters to me. You know, if, if, if one person is helped by this video, um, then I'm, I feel like I am giving back. So I've had a lot of help through the years on on, on different advice and information for uh, wristwatches and horology. Again, thank you for watching.